In this video, we will solve lead code 1460. It says that you are given two arrays. One is target and second one is some other array. And your task is to convert this ARR to target. And what you can do, you are allowed to select a subarray out of this and then reverse that subarray. And you can do that multiple times. So can you convert this to this? ARR to target. So you have to return true or false. So let's see how we can solve that. So first of all, uh, what is the condition we we need in order to convert this to this? So the condition will be that the elements should be same. If here we have 1, 2, 3 and here we have 10, 20, 30, then no matter how many uh, reverse operations we make, we can never reach this. So the condition is that all the elements should be same. Now the second thing is that, so that is the first condition, elements should be same. Second condition is that if elements are same, can we always convert them by reversing to this? So how we will convert this array to this? Let's see. Uh, so here we can convert, uh, swap this 241. So if we reverse this subarray, we will get 1, 4, 2 and 3 is not part of this. Then we swap these two. Not swap but reverse. Reverse the entire subarray. So 1, 2, 4 and 3 remains here. Then you take this subarray and reverse it. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4. So you are allowed to reverse the subarray. Here we took 3 length, here we took 2 length as per the requirement. So second thing is that if elements are same, can we always reverse? So uh, I will prove that yes, we can. So let's say we have some two arrays, A1 and A2. This is the target. So it will remain fixed. It has some elements. And here we have the other array, which we will reverse. Both have to have same length. And let's say till this position, till k position they are same that is we don't need to change them this k can be zero as well that is none of the arrays are in none of the elements are in correct position from the beginning but let's say this first k elements are same so we are bothered only about this part so whatever is the here at the k plus 1th position let's call it t k plus 1 so it will lie somewhere here the same element so what we can do, we can take this subarray, this entire subarray and reverse it. So what will happen in reversing? So take tk plus 1 as the last element starting from here, before which everything is at correct position. So just reverse this part. So what will happen? This k will remain same, k elements, and this tk plus 1 will come here since we will simply reverse the entire subarray. And there will be some more elements, the remaining elements. So we see that now we have k plus 1 elements in the correct position. tk plus 1 was required here and it has come here. So now we will do the same thing for this remaining part. So we can do this reverse one at a time and we can keep uh, increasing the length of the elements which are in correct position. So we can always uh, convert ARR to target if we have same elements by just selecting one subarray out of this and reversing that entire subarray. So let's write the code for this in C++, Java and Python. So here simply we need to check that all the elements should be same. That's it. These are already of same length. So uh, we can do multiple things here. One you can do sorting. So sort this, sort this and compare element wise. So if they have same elements, then after sorting at first position, both will have same element at second position. Also, both will have same. So that will take in log n time. Second approach can be that uh, we uh, iterate through the elements of this target and keep the count of elements in a map. So one has occurred one times since numbers can occur multiple times as well. Two has occurred one times here. All are unique so that count is not important but in some problem it may be so this is the map of element and their counts and then again we 
iterate this ARR and for each element we check the map whether it exists in the map or not if it exists we will decrement its count and look at next element so at the end of this iteration every element should be found in this map if every element is found uh, and uh, it, so at any point of time if count becomes zero we will remove that or we can keep that and we will see that count is greater than zero then we will know that both have same elements so let's uh, look at this uh, hash map based solution so here first value is the actual number in target and the second one is the count both are integers So if it's already present then just increment the count else insert it with a count of 1 since this is occurring for the first time and now this map contains all the elements and their counts let's do the same thing or ARR and if map dot find a not equal to map dot end and map a should be greater than zero. It's if its count is zero and we have arrived, we have found another instance of a but its count has already become zero then that means there are un unequal number of uh, that element in target and error so we will return false but if that is not the case what we will do we will decrement its count else either it's not found or if it's found but its count is now zero then return false if none of this occurs finally we return true and let's try and it works for this case let's see a tricky case where some algorithms may fail so some algorithms may be thinking that uh, take the XOR of both the sets and we know that XOR of two same elements is zero and they will take the XR of both and finally will, they will check if the result is 0 or not but let's say each element occurs twice in the set in both the sets but they are not same let's say here it's 5 5 6 6 so this would return false if you uh, take a XOR simple XOR based solution this would fail but here it should work sorting will also work if you sort these two will have exactly same elements at the same position if the conversion is possible now let's submit and this solution is accepted in C++ and it's not that bad it's about 75% uh, in in the terms of runtime and 100% in terms of memory now let's do the same thing in java so here we will use hash map we can get uh, then increment its count and put but uh, if the element does not exist then we should get the count as zero so there is a built-in function for that get or default that is if it's found get its value 
the value stored for this key if it's not found then take some default value and that default value will be zero since it's not it has not occurred so its count is zero and then map dot put t comma count plus one and here uh, if map dot contains a and map dot get a is greater than zero then map dot put a map dot get a minus one else return false and the solution is accepted in java as well and here it's uh, better than 100% of the submissions in terms of memory and runtime finally we will do the same thing in python 3 so this is the map for t in target if t in map then increment its count else we put one so we have created the map now we will do the same thing for arr And the Python solution is also accepted and it's better than 75% submissions in terms of runtime and 100% in terms of memory.